Hello, it's good to know Wednesday. Let's talk about metaraminol versus noradrenaline. Metaraminol is a vasoconstrictor. It directly and indirectly stimulates the alpha receptors in the sympathetic nervous system. Its alpha stimulation causes vasoconstriction with an increase in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure and an increase in systemic vascular resistance. It has a positive inotrophic effect, meaning it tells the heart muscles to contract with more power. It also causes peripheral vasoconstriction. Metaraminol is a drug of choice for the short-term management of acute hypotension and can be administered by a large bore PIBC, but we must assess the access site regularly. The policy states that we must ensure that there is another PIBC in situ so that if the primary access has failed, then we can still continue infusing metaraminol. If hypotension persists after fluid resuscitation, we can expect to switch to noradrenaline infusion once central access is available. Metaraminol has an onset of 1 to 2 minutes and can take around at least 10 minutes for its effect to become evident. Its duration of action lasts longer than noradrenaline, which is about 20 minutes to an hour. Hence, we can monitor the blood pressure using the non-invasive cuff. Its half-life is within minutes. Metaraminol is prepared with a concentration of 0.5 mg per mil and is given by a syringe driver. In comparison, noradrenaline is a more potent vasoconstrictor. It stimulates the alpha and beta-1 receptors in the sympathetic nervous system. Its alpha stimulation causes peripheral, renal, splanchnic, and pulmonary vasoconstriction, with its alpha-adrenergic effects noticeable at higher doses. Its beta-1 stimulation increases myocardial contractility with less tachycardia than adrenaline. The B1 adrenergic effect is obvious in the lower doses. Noradrenaline increases blood pressure and increases coronary artery blood flow. It is a potent inotropic and has a higher risk of peripheral vascular compromise, hence a CBC is required to minimize extravasation and tissue necrosis. Although in an emergency, noradrenaline can be used for a maximum of 2 hours by a large bore PIBC whilst awaiting central access. Remember to watch out for reflex bradycardia and arrhythmias when a patient is on noradrenaline. Noradrenaline is indicated for patients with acute severe hypotension and has a low systemic vascular resistance despite fluid resuscitation and is the vasopressor used in septic shock. It has an onset of 1 to 2 minutes like metaraminol. Due to its shorter duration of action of about 5 to 10 minutes, an arterial line needs to be in situ to ensure timely monitoring of the blood pressure. Its half-life is within 3 minutes. Norad should be prepared with 5% glucose as it is incompatible with normal saline and needs to be prepared on a single strength concentration of 60 microgram per mil. It can also be prepared in double and quad strength when required. And like metaraminol, noradrenaline should never be purged or bolus. And that is all for now. Thank you.